What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. And we're going to do some... Uh, today we're going to do this gilded... Guilds of Ravnica. Sealed. And every... Uh, every branch, I guess, every stage is three rounds. And then after each one, you get to add a pack, I think. So... I kind of want to do Demir or Golgari. Not a big Celestia or Boros fan. I don't like those those white colors that attack. Is it's fine, but I don't like red. So obviously I pick one of the two Sultai colors. I'm just going to go with Demir because maybe. Maybe I do want Golgari. Golgari! The ad before the stream says it goes to Frank. Does that mean you, you sir, our partner? What does that mean? I don't know what that. I don't know what the ad was. I don't know what your ad was. Also, long time no see your nearest, right? I don't believe you've been around for a bit. It is a surveil format. That's true. You got to be careful. Why no red? Because red's the worst color. Mountains are the least, the least preferable land. Um. I could also try the Celestia. You can go wide with the Celestia. Hmm. Oh, I've been a Twitch partner for years. That's how you're able to subscribe to me. I've been a Twitch partner for like eight years now. <laughs> it's been a ridiculous amount of time. Yeah, I was actually one of the... Um, before Magic was even like really streamed on Twitch, I was like, "Hey, I'm a Magic player. I, I I I like I like playing Magic. I'd like to be a partner." And they were like, "Yeah, sure." They actually liked Magic as a game. A lot of the people at Twitch because this was very very early in Twitch, and um, they wanted to get more Magic players as streamers because they liked the game a lot. So they were giving out partnerships uh, really easily then. And I think now it's much more difficult to get one. Um, maybe we'll Demir? I'm either Demir or Celestia. I like a lot of the Celestia cards. I think they're pretty big. Thank you. Gamma said, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Your daily videos help me survive the commute home. I am okay with that. That is pretty good. I'm going to go with Celestia. I, I just wanted to pull the trigger and do it. Oh, we got this Hexproof guy, which is probably pretty good. Three Celestia Guild Gates. Two Demir Guild Gates and a Golgari Guild Gate. All right. We got a Beast Whisperer. That guy's making the cut. Undercity Uprising is pretty good. Uh, okay. Got a Lazav here. Okay, okay. Let's sort by rarity for the sake of your sanity, I guess. Divine Visitation, definitely playing that. Legion of the Light, definitely playing that. Uh, for those who are unaware, this is a 5-5 five, five for 6 with flying. It's a 5-5 five, five flyer. It has Mentor, and then when it dies, you put a 1-1 one, one counter on each white creature you control. Pretty busted. Hopefully we have enough token makers for this. Lazav is obviously our... Well, I guess it's a mythic. I don't know if it's our mythic. Guildmage's form might. Uh, definitely playing Conclave Guildmage. All the creatures that make other creatures, we're definitely playing those. Yep. Mm, probably not. Yeah, this is just a 4-5 flyer for 8. It's expensive, but they have Convoke, so... Once up all creatures, they gain Hexproof. Yeah, this is probably playable oh here's a night veil predator that guy is pretty good hour and a half each way that's actually uh that's almost like the perfect amount of time for most drafts uh just make a two two or destroy an artifact yeah that's versatile enough that we'll play it don't care about this guy three damage not bad I could see us playing that. Thank 
Thank you. Sort by converted mana cost. Game Crank, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. That's almost a year and a half. Two, two for two, that gets plus two, plus two for five. That's actually just fine. Oh, I'm so medium excited for Ravnica. Everix, thank you so much for the donation. Really appreciate it. I was going to say welcome, but that's more reserved for the, uh, you know, the sub. Plus three, plus three for three with Convoke. Okay, well, we have three of those. All right. One, four for three. Probably playing Siege Worm. 3-3 three, three for 5, when it enters the battlefield, tap two creatures your opponent control. That doesn't seem terrible. 2-4 four for 4 with Convoke. It's okay. It enters the battlefield with the number of counters equals the number of creatures in your graveyard. So this is probably going to be like a 3-3. Three, three. And Undercity Uprising is also pretty good. It's usually just going to kill something. When this enters the battlefield, look at the top 4 cards of your library. You may reveal a creature or an enchantment and put the rest into your... Uh, put the rest in the bottom. That seems fine. It is a 2-1 for 4, but... Peacekeeper could be good. It's a 3-3 three, three for 3, but it gains both players 4 life, which is rough because we're trying to uh, kill them, obviously. 2 one ones is actually great with Divine Visitation. That's actually two four fours. so... Uh, this guy's fine. It's a 2-2. Two, two. It's a versatile 2-2. Two, two. That can be a 1-1 one, one in the late game and make one of your other guys bigger. Shieldmate's fine. This is 19 cards. Do we have any good black removal? No, two centipedes. Deadly Visit is fine, but it also has... Uh, I mean, it's not... It's... What do you call it? What am I, what am I trying to say here? Uh, it's double black. That's what we're getting at here. Yeah, we can play Pack Beast. That guy's actually fine. Celestia sucks. I... Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. We can Prey Upon... For each creature, yeah, that's probably pretty good. Gain one life for each attack and creature. Don't care about that. Don't care about the... Actually, this guy might be good because you do have Divine Visitation. Also, three Healer's Hawks. Do we just go ham on the one drops? Do we just go one drop dot deck here and just play a bunch of 1-1 one -one flyers with lifelink? That feels not great. We do have three of them, though. And a Celestial Locket. Man. Hmm. I feel like Shieldmate's probably pretty medium. Well, they're free to cast, but like you also, uh, I mean, it's it's a card. It's a the cost is the card in your hand, right? So, it's decent with Beast Whisper, though. If we had any red fixing, I might be considered. I might be considering playing integrity and in, inter intervention or invention. Intervention, yeah, obviously. It's like I put. I'd put all four of these in here. But what are we cutting? We have convoke, convoke, convoke. We have actually quite a few convoke cards. We can take out Sprouting Renewal, I guess. Um, it does have Convoke, though. Ugh. I just watched your set review videos one and two, and I've never laughed so hard at MTG content in my life. That's fantastic. 
That's all I wanted to hear. Ever. Also, putting a 1-1 counter on one of the Hawks is pretty good. Might of the Masses also gets better when you have a bunch of little, little nerds. Everything else I want to play. I could see just cutting the black cards. That makes sense. This is 24, and I can actually see playing 24 lands since most of our things have Convoke. And this is for gold cards, right? This is for multicolored cards, and we have one, two, three. I think that's actually worth it. Maybe. Our deck isn't that mana intensive. Pack's favor feels better than Might of the Masses. I mean, it's one mana versus three mana. But this could also be like plus four, plus four, plus... Like, this is always going to be at least plus one, plus one. And we have 18 creatures, not including, like, Sworn Companions, which is a creature. Yeah, Pax does have Convoke, sure. But if you have that many creatures, this is just better, right? Like, if you have if you have two other... If you're attacking with one creature and you have two other creatures to Convoke this to make it one mana, they're already even, right? They're, just, they're all already plus three, plus three. So the upside on this is just higher, right? In the situation where you're ever paying cheaper for this, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be about the same value as this. In the situation where this only costs two mana, like then you already have plus two plus two, so it's like this is just I, I just think this is a stronger card, especially if we're going wide. Like the fact that this can be plus eight plus eight for one mana, and this is only plus three plus three all, always, it just doesn't it doesn't add up for me. I do agree with the puffer versus non puffer argument. That is uh, that is actually a fair argument, I think. Yeah, let's do this. I think Gil I think this is fine even if you have three creatures. Cause it makes this a three three, it makes this a two two, and it makes this a three two. Or a three three and a three two. I think that's fine. It's just a colorless card, right? Six six. Totally fine with that. Sixteen lands. This feels like a sixteen land deck. We have four one drops, a bunch of two drops. And like a lot of our things later than that have convoke. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna keep this hand. I mean, we have four, five, six, but we only have we have two lands. So if we hit lands, we're good. If we hit early creatures, we're good. Matthew, I have not checked yet. I do have a bunch of messages from you that I have not been able to check yet. I don't want to check them and not respond, so I just haven't checked yet. I'll keep this hand. Do 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 do. Do, do, do. If we draw another guild gate, that'd be okay. We can play Hunted Witness block here. Baby giraffe is OP. Baby giraffes are are broken. They should be nerfed. Well, that's a good dude. All right, now we're hoping that our 16 land choice does not. If we could just draw three lands, four lands in a row, I'd be totally fine with it. Hmm. 
pretty sure we just block here. They're both 2-2s, two right? Oh, this guy's first strike, so yeah, we're definitely blocking here. That is a good reason to do so. Yeah, that card's obnoxious. Well, we did not hit a land, guys. We did not hit a land. So yeah, right now we're in a situation where this actually can make this a 2-2, two -two, so we can block this profitably. Um, whereas if this was Pax Might, we would not be able to even cast it. I still don't think we're going to block here. Any land, though, we can just play Ledev Champion. Always a treat when life affords an opportunity to catch you live. Nice to hear it. Can look at these, look at these two ones that, that shoot for one land. Okay, a hawk. Okay. Let me ask an obvious question. If Affectionate Indrik is in your pack, it will always... Um, I don't know if it'll be always a pack one, pick one, despite it being a kitty. I'm just going to block here, and we're going to hope you don't have anything, but you probably do. You have four cards, so I will accept my two for one. Yep, to the surprise of no one. Third land? No third land. I can make a 2-2, though. I guess that's good. Does it have lifelink? No, it has vigilance. It's an elf. Okay. Good times. Good times are good. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Do do. No, two lands is totally reasonable by turn six. Sure. Is there a card that deals one damage to all creatures? The neg one, neg one card, the black card? Can I just board that in? Oh, wow. Thank you. So we block, block, we still take. Yeah, we're dead. They're all two. Sure. Welp. Uh, Mike isn't that affectionate, so I don't know why this would be Mike's spirit animal. I'm tempted to just bring in Ledev Guardians against all their nonsense. This guy doesn't have Vigilance, though. I feel like this guy should have Vigilance. Hmm. Take out the 2 1. Hawks seem great to race here, but. Bring in, I'll bring in one of these guys. 100 bits. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Peacemaker actually sounds reasonable here just because I don't care about their life gain. We could also just play a bunch of 03 walls that replace themselves later. Yeah, sure, we'll just play Peacekeeper. Did we take out two cards? We took out the 2-1, and did we not take out something else? I'll take out the Renewal here. Gotta give the people what they want when the new set drops. Yeah, it's true. I don't love Sealed, but I, I want to play with the Ravnica cards, so. I will accept. Yeah, this is a better hand. A three land hand, and we hit a fourth land? I don't even understand what's happening. That is one ornery goblin.
Toothers mentor. Sure. Well, that's a thing, I guess. Rice is a sorcery. If this is an instant, it'd be great. You could choose, uh, you could target a creature with mentor and then I could kill it in response. I mean, the only thing you could put it on is the hunted witness, I guess. Probably just kill the gor the, go the gorblin. Yeah, I don't feel like attacking here is wise. You can also just save it and use the intrusive pack beast to kill the challenger. But, like, we don't actually have a profitable block for the goblin right now, and. I don't well, this is gonna be turn five, this is gonna be turn six, so I don't really foresee us having a great opportunity to use this, if not now. So good deal, I guess. You could pump this guy. Oh, you did. All right. Sure. Let's block here. That is not the best turn. That's pretty okay. Let's play that, gentlemen. I get I'm gonna pass. Like, if they just attack with this, I might block with this. Probably not, though. But I don't know. Like, I want to keep up my creatures. Like, if they want to pump this guy again to pump this guy into a three-three. That's fine. I'll likely double block here. Okay, well, that's cool. Kill the creature I didn't actually get to use in any way. Oh, that's good land. That's a nice one. Make sure we play this land here. Let's get down to business. Uh, how does the seal deck compare to the Demir one you played? I think the Demir deck was very good. No, oh, that's very good. Um, the problem with the Demir deck was that we faced Undercity Lich and. Uh, Nullhide Ferox in round one, and we faced double Nullhide Ferox in round two, so that was uh, slightly difficult to deal with. Challenging, you might say. Well, that is not a gold card. Do, do, do. To defeat the Huns. Did they give me lands when I asked for none? Someday I'll make a win out of you. This is a song for the deck. This is the Gilded Seal. Do we want a Celestia? Did they just pump this dude? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was going to right through you. So I can block here. I don't know what kind of tricks they could have, though. 
Hmm. Do I look it up? Yeah, I'm gonna look it up. I should know. Uh, type line instant red or white exclude unselected allow partial matches and guilds plus two plus two is pretty bad but these guys do get counters on them it's got to cost two or less actually so i can that's another qualifier i can uh less than or equal to dose justice strike would not work they could just do that before combat righteous blow could work but then we'd still get to kill it take heart and sure strike. Ooh, those are those are all pretty rough. Yeah, I don't want to be blown out with a sure strike. At least with the other ones I get to trade or take heart. I guess you don't get to trade either. Righteous blow is pretty bad though here. Cause then they kill both. They righteous blow and then they kill this. That's actually much worse. But it looks like they might not have it. Oh, okay, cool. That literally didn't show up because, yeah. No, that was a good draw. <laughs> okay. Well, that's fun. Let's kill the most valuable of your creatures. Yes, let's use that. Choose target attacking creature. There's only one, so... All right, that should be game, I imagine. Affectionate Ingdrick, no joke. He looks friendly, but... Yeah, so this card didn't show up because uh, its converted mana cost is 7, not 2. But it doesn't matter. Any of these tricks would have been pretty backbreaking for us, unfortunately. The fact that they let us go to blocks told me that it wasn't just a strike. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, if they can get rid of this guy, we're dead, so. Okay. So, not dead. Lifelink is relevant. Lifelink is extremely relevant, actually. We go to two. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, we're three away. Might have amasses. Suntail Hawk. It's actually Healer's Hawk, Healer's Hawk, not Suntail Hawk. Different Hawks. I'm pretty sure I just attack with these two, and then we have two blockers. Well, they're both lethal, so any removal spell is pretty bad. So maybe we just attack with the Indric. Yeah, they don't have really profitable attacks after this. I guess don't have a burn spell for two. Pick a guild for me for the guilded event. Uh, Golgari. Golgari! Gary. Okay, that is not a card I care about. However, we do have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have thirteen in the air. So if you block the angel, thank you. We go to four, and then we die on the crackback. Music Manly, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Six months in a row. God, it's like our, it's like our anniversary. I kind of just want to attack with this and this so I can mentor up. And then we have another blocker. And we go to four, so they have to have two answers. That seems good. Always yield a trade realize? Yes, let's do that. And if they want to trade here, that's totally fine. So they do not. Play a bird, you must be quick as the rain. Look at these birds doing work. All right, four to four. We have five creatures, they have three. 
and game. So we still didn't see any um, artifacts or enchantments. Take heart seems good. Plus two, plus two. Seems actually very, very good. Um, I'm going to take it out for join shields because join shield seems pretty, pretty expensive for our deck. I really think they should have flash. Like, it's a 2-2 two, two for 2, but then when it comes into play, a creature gets plus 1, plus, plus 0, plus 1. It's just not very impressive to me. If we had anybody splash the red here... Actually, can we do it for guild mages? Actually, we can We can splash it off a guild mages for him. Just for the, the intervention. I mean, it would cost us 5 instead, but you do get access to integrity as well. Which is just slightly worse than take heart. That is tempting. Like, is it worth just having integrity instead of take heart for the, uh, the upside of intervention? Off of Guild Mage's form, maybe. Take out the Might. Well, it's not really you're already splashing it as the thing. Like you're just playing it off of your. It's either a white mana card, which is just a take heart without the gain life ability. Or you're splashing off of the Guild Mage's Forum, which we're already playing. So, mulligan this hand. Keep this hand. Never, never keeping you. Seems good. The old six land, two, two hand. A classic. I've ever listened to Swans. I've been meaning to ask this for a while since I've seen Music Taste. Um, I've listened to Zwan, which is the Billy Corgan band that he did after Smashing Pumpkins. I don't think I've ever listened to Swans, though. Also, Billy Corgan is a weird dude. Fleet Foxes? I haven't actually heard much Fleet Foxes. What's the band with Jenny Lewis in it? Um, Rilo Kiley? Rilo Kiley's good. I don't know why. Uh, they have a song called Portions for Foxes, which is what made me think of that. Oh, Fantana give it a 10 out of 10. That's pretty good. Damn, boy, he's thick. Boy, that's a thick ass boy. Damn. Ba -ba! <laughs> Gets me every time. Oh, boy. I guess we're not attacking here. I like that this guy can make one ones. I totally forgot about that. And they get lifelink. That's that's gas. I mean, we're definitely blocking here. This is not Q. I have no idea why. Yeah, it's just it's just the old um. It's just the cache. It hasn't been updated, unfortunately. Oh, they missed the land drop. They missed multiple land drops. Multiple land drops. Next turn we can play. We can play this guy now. Next turn we can play this guy. Uh, make a guy with this guy and play the hawk, which is nice. I don't think Fantano hates everything. I think he's just very, very critical of things because that's his job. Like, like a lot of people can be like, oh, yeah, this album was okay. I listened to most of the tracks. They were fine. Um, but, like, as a music critic, you have to be much more critical about about it. Like, you can't just be like, yeah, it was a good album. Like, because you're not going to make good content. You're not going to be legitimized as a critic if you're taking everything, you know, very lightly. I 
I don't understand Ravnica. Yeah, no one does. It's okay. Uh, so I can tap this guy to make this guy a 3-3. Three, three. And all of you guys have flying right now. Yeah, sure. Why not? I've won almost every game of Corset and lost almost every game of Ravnica. That sounds no good. Uh, you can't use the form. It's only spent on multicolored creatures, not on regular creatures. Fidget13, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Everybody coming in? All right, we're going to do the same thing because you didn't have it last time. So if you have it this time, it's totally fine. I'll just. Are we at 13? How are we at 13 already? Well, that should. All of these things should change now. Hmm. Just gonna play a bird here, I guess. I guess we attack with both these guys. This vigilance is nice, we can actually activate. Get in there for six. I mean, I assume they have something. They haven't played anything, so for them to not have even a removal spell for this guy is pretty, pretty suspect. Five damage? Sure. I guess we could have actually made this guy and then activated to give, like, make him a 6-6, six, six, but that just still doesn't save him, right? And then we don't have blockers for the floaty boys. So, what can you do? I mean, if you want to, like, do some kind of shenanigans here. Pay them costs? Sure. I mean, that's your turn, so. Hmm. Fascinating. Yeah, this guy can be problematic if they pump him twice. We take five, they give it flying, they mentor. Come on, two one ones. I'm actually gonna just add one. I'm not sure if I canceled that. I, I F6, so I wasn't sure if I if I canceled it, if it would just go through my turn without letting me finish casting it. So I just wanted to be like, I'll just waste the extra mana here rather than hit cancel and have it F6 through my turn. <laughs> so thankfully it did not do that, so. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They could just nine us ten they could just ten us here if they wanted to. No blocks. I think we're just dead to this Boros deck. I mean if we can draw the two one ones with make them four fours, it's pretty good. It's not bad, but it does nothing. Yep. Kill this guy, we take one, two, like they, they both these guys have flying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Pretty standard. Opponent gets stuck on three, still kills us. Seems good. All right, let's take out Might. We'll bring in Take Heart instead. We'll take uh, play this over Join Shields, I think. <laughs> uh, 
unfortunately pretty standard was not a joke <laughs> just the way it goes I don't think there are any dinosaurs in Ravnica I can't imagine there are right this format needs a plummet it has crushing canopy it literally has a, 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 a better plummet I finally Iron Man Spider downloaded Spider Man, so I'm gonna go play it. That's a that's a solid choice. It is a good game. I guess we have to hit the play button. I was thinking we were just in a regular like event where we just wait for it to happen. My God. <clears throat> yeah, some of the outfits in Spider-Man are great. Some of them are really, really great. Uh, my biggest, con my biggest problem with Spider-Man is that there are definitely some I wanted to see, which I did not. This hand seems fine. I suppose I'll keep it. <laughs> yeah, the cell shaded comic book Spider Man is easily the best costume in the game. I don't even think it's out of place. I think the whole game should either look like that. Or they should make a game that that has parts like that, like parts being like realistically rendered and parts being cel shaded. It's fantastic. One annoying part of Spider-Man is when you have to play as a random. I mean, like none of the none of the plebs in the game that you play is a random. It's like either Mary Jane or Miles Morales, and like it's totally fine. It like they it consumes maybe six percent of the entire game, which is like nothing. That seems like people just wanting to complain about something. Don't be that person. How's Ravnica so far? I'm not even sure. Yesterday I went 3-2 and I lost to a bunch of Mythics. Last round our opponent got stuck on three lands but still had like mono flyers and mono removal. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I, I feel like our, I don't feel like our losses were indicative of, I guess I don't want to say the format, but maybe, maybe they are. I don't know. Appreciate your work and miss your articles. Like, I hate when people say I miss your stuff because I'm like, it's still there. You just have to look for it. Like, I didn't disappear. I'm still, I'm still around. I feel like, but I don't want to like promote my stuff and be like, check me out on Patreon, patreon.com slash Frank Laporte. Thanks guys. It's so weird, but at the same hand, like hey, you obviously don't know it's there. So what do you do? Guys, listen, guys. <laughs> oh, looks like we got the Demir opponent. for a living for money that's true that's true it's how i where are your articles located it's funny you should ask i feel like i would just trade here like if you want to trade i'm fine with it actually one two three four five six seven next time we can play our boot our i don't think they're trading because this guy gets real big real fast yeah i didn't think so that guy's way too much value in the late game. Or in the mid game. At any point in the game. We get to play this guy next turn. It's pretty busted. Oh, did not. You know you were there. All right. 
Busting makes me feel good. This is nine, not seven. I am not a good... I am not... Why did I think it was seven? I guess because nine mana is pretty ridiculous. I guess I can't do anything then. I guess I'll just float on over. That's sad. Man. <laughs> I was like, oh, clearly it's... I could just attack with this guy. Nope. Yeah, we'll be floating. Because if we don't float, they pretty much know we have a trick. Whereas right now, like... They don't know anything. Could have also alphaed. I mean, but then they go block here, block here, right? And then we we kill this guy, but... Or they could just go block 1-1, one, one, block 2-1, and then we have to pump here, or they still eat a 1-1. One, one. See, this is why you gotta support me, guys, because I really have no idea how magic combat math works, and it's really kind of sad. Here we go. Oh, this guy's good. This guy's good. Yeah, this card seems insane. I'm gonna always yield to that. I'm just gonna, oh, do I chump block here? Oh, actually, oh, it's got death touch, that's sad. I really don't want you to draw a card, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I could try to take heart for this guy, which seems fine. But then, like, we're, we are one turn further away from casting this. I think it might be worth it, though. 100 math lesson bits. That's all I could ever ask for. This is, uh, you guys are helping with my education. Unbelievable. This is fine, because if they want to kill it, so be it. Oh, it's a little bug. It's a little buggo. I feel like I don't really want to put... I guess I kind of want to put the counter on the flyer. Or I can put it on the 2-2. Two -two. Eh, probably better on the flyer. Because as soon as we get rid of their flyer, like this guy's an actual threat. They have two cards, we have three cards, and I think our cards are better, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can actually play this guy next turn and then follow it up with the Indrik. Muffin makes me feel. They didn't do anything? Oh, they're going to counter something. That's no good. Or they're gonna draw two cards. I actually care about you countering this less. I think the other guy is a little stronger. Go ahead. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. Did I just get your, your three four flyer or is there some shenanigans going on here? Artful dodge is nice. Yeah, they're gonna artful. they're just gonna kill in response. Okay, that's actually totally fine. I am okay with that. That seems fine. I think we just attack with this guy. Oh, no, they're going to surveil, so it's going to be a 4-4, four, four, and then they're going to surveil again, so it's a 5-5. Five, five. Cringe city. Yep. Can't foresee attacking here. Oh, you got something else? Wow, that's the price of... That's the price of... Could you have price of famed in response and the the prey... Uh, the fight wouldn't happen? I don't know how that... I, I, I get confused about how that works. He used the last known information, right? Which would have been four. Wall of Mist. Surveil that thing in the trash can. Faux show. Unfortunately, this guy's a 7-5, which means he just gets blocked all day by the 5-5. Five five. The 551 drop can block our 759 drop. Seems good. I 
Now it's a 6-6. Six, six. My god. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So actually we can do everything here. 1, 2, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, we're just going to play you. All the things. <sighs> and then the, the dissident as a 4-4 four, four next turn is pretty nice. So We can actually pay 5, make this a 4-4, four, four, and give this float. You know, if we need to. Who knows? Who knows what we'll have to do? Magic's a hard game. Why are we not playing Demir? I don't know. Demir was our other option. Like, it was either Demir or Selesnia, and so I went with Selesnia. Couldn't really tell you why. It's not working out great for us. I feel like Celestia doesn't have enough interaction. Wow, double Demir Locket. Good lord. Popping it and locking it over here. That's fascinating. Just going to play that. Why not? Of course your last card is a counterspell. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be? It doesn't even make any sense that it wouldn't be, right? They just trade here? It seems bad. Yep, that's fine. They never didn't have it. All right. This 6-6 six, six is surprisingly versatile here. They also have uh, four cards just sitting on the board. Ooh, what is what do we got here? Conclave Guild Mage. That's pretty good. We can also cast it this turn. We can also cast Siege Worm, but Siege Worm actually doesn't do much against the 6-6. Six, six, so I'm just going to take the Guild Mage. Man, Divine divine Visitation into Conclave Guild Mage would have been pretty, pretty back-breaking, I think. Unfortunately, nope. I mean, if they hit us for three with the Watcher in the Mist, we can just attack back with the Skyline Scout, so... That's reasonable. But now we're at a position where we can just actually make guys. They can also double block here, which is pretty bad. My favorite guild is cheese. <laughs> oh, yeah, me too. The cheese guild is best guild. Are they going to draw four here? Yeah, or draw two, rather. Yep, seems good. You can you can draw two cards. I'll make two twos. Whatever. Same, Basically the same thing. And this is why we wanted a card like Might of Masses in the deck, because it's probably just better. Because now it's we make a guy, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's, an, it's plus eight, plus eight, which is pretty nuts. I guess we should have played this. You know what? Deal. We're getting to a point where we could actually just alpha and kill them with whatever creature gets through, which is pretty comical, but uh, not going to do that. Yep, draw another, draw another two. They go up to six cards in their hand now. Hopefully that'll uh, help you out. I'm tempted to play the locket myself, since Celestia Locket seems 
pretty okay. Like, ramps us to five, which is reasonable, but also uh, draws us two when we no longer need the mana. That's fine when I have no cards in hand. They also have 13 cards. Maybe we just mill them. Cringe. Of course you have that in your main deck. Of course you do. <sighs> like, why wouldn't you have that? Oh, boy. Hilarious. You know what? That's probably worth taking a turn off, I guess. What can you do? I, I just don't... I don't feel like this card is actually worth main decking because it does actually kill a lot of your guys, potentially. Maybe it doesn't. on Maybe in their deck. I don't know. This guy never survives a turn, so I'd be surprised if we can untap with him. If we draw a Hawk, that's pretty good, because we actually get to draw another card from the Hawk, and we get to make a... They have eight cards left in their deck. They have to win with eight cards in their deck, so... I mean, they're more than welcome to just keep going ham on the... Yeah, we're just going to play all the cards. They have Disinformation uh, Campaign, so I'm not going to keep cards in my hand. Seven cards in their deck. One, two, three, five lands. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Right? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen lands, right? So there's three lands between their hand and their deck currently. No, well, I found all the flyers. Reel their hand, choose a non-land card from it. Sure. You got it. Everything gets bigger. Trigger, 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 trigger. Trigger. No blocks. Oh, you cast a creature spell, draw a card. <laughs> Jesus. And he never saw another creature spell again. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Almost the two activations, but it doesn't really matter when they got an eight eight on the board, so Yep. Go to five cards left in your deck. Like, they know they have five cards in the deck, right? They have to. Sure. Double Uncommon Murmuring Mystic. Seems good. The deck seems insane, so it's unfortunate that... Like, are they... Are they 0-1? Or did we just get... I'm trying to check the, the log to see if... Uh... Uh, 
Yeah, it doesn't say who I'm playing against. So three, yep, just taking it. Yeah, believe it or not, if we had the... Um, if they just didn't have Disdainful Stroke in hand for this, I don't think we could actually lose this game because we'd just be making 4-4 four, four flyers every turn. Uh, which are significantly stronger than 2-2 two, two ground guys, as you can imagine. So we want to keep 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We want to keep 6 up so we can use 3 mana, which means we have to have 5 guys. 2, 3, 4, 5. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. All right, that's a nice little, a nice little duder. We already have a ton of guys to create for Convoke. I'd rather just create a guy after. Um, this way, if they have, like, I don't know if there's, like, a counter target spell unless they pay, like, two or three. I don't think there is in this format, but... They have to start attacking with this guy, right? <sighs> really? Three, four? This is aggressive. I don't know what's going on right now. They have four cards left in their deck. Yep. I mean, I feel like they have a three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, we haven't seen an Artful Maneuver yet, so I'm pretty sure Artful Dodge, I don't know what the card's called. And there it is, Artful Takedown. Fantastic. <sighs> Can you just not have it once? I feel like not having it once is really not too much to ask for. we even win? Is there like a chance that we can just alpha here? They have five, six blockers. I wish this was a crushing canopy, to be quite honest. Draw land. Oh, man. Like, we're dead on board. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten creatures. They have one, two, three, four, five, six. So four guys get through, and at the worst, they're going to be two twos. Destroy an artifact or enchantment. That doesn't do anything. Trample doesn't really do much. Like, like we have to attack with one less guy for that to matter. Like, these are one fives, right? So they just block... I guess we can pump this. Whatever. I mean, we have to alpha, right? So this costs five to pump. This costs one to give trample, and we can give this flight. Like, the seven five just gets blocked by the eight eight, so that's not really... Five, six, seven, eight mana. We need one, two, three, eight. Okay. Billy with the continued gift sub. Thank you so much, buddy. You're the best. Love it. I mean, it's a potential that we could have drawn in like a plus two, plus two. What are they? They have just artful takedown number two. Okay. Sounds good. Who are they killing? 
this guy. Sure. And then they make two more blockers. Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> like, come on, dude. Oh, boy. Good times. Yeah, take heart's probably just worse than Might of the Masses once we have this in the deck. Uh, I don't actually like Sprouting Renewal in the deck. I think it's pretty, pretty mediocre. Joint, joint shields might be good. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing this. Uh, I'm not seeing Celestia be very strong. One four spider seems pretty bad. Like it can block their three four, but we're really not trying to be blocking. Like blocking is not what we're, what we're looking to do here. Guilds as a draft format, not great. How would you even do that as a draft format? Oh, you mean the set? I thought you meant like the uh, the gilded packs. Um, I I couldn't tell you to be honest. I have no idea. I have not put much thought into it. They got all the one one bird illusions, sure. If the, but like if they make six or seven bird illusions and we block one of them, we're still taking five, then four, then three, then two, then one. Presuming they don't make any more bird illusions in the meantime, like blocking one per turn is not really where you want to be for for three mana. Unfortunately, I'd rather. And it's funny because they also have the negative one, negative one card in their deck, which is like, well, that's just going to kill all your birds. <sighs> I'm tempted to put in Silent Dart, but it doesn't, like, even that doesn't kill much. Like, they have a 3-4 flyer that we care about. All the other guys are 1-5s. Um, the 2-2 the two -two that became an 8-8 eight -eight eventually was just way too big for us. I, I just don't think our deck has the tools to compete with... Uh, the Demir deck, unfortunately. Yep, I will play first. <sighs> Cringe. I'll keep it. It's got lands and spells. Whatever. Yeah, unfortunately, you get. Uh, I watched Luis do a gilded draft, and uh, he went two one and got thirty play points. So unfortunately, uh, the play points in this one is uh, they're pretty terrible. <laughs> the payout's not ideal. Tempted to just hold this, put it on a one one instead. It just doesn't like as a two two. It just doesn't do anything. It's just worse than a two two with lifelink. But I guess, like, we can get some damage in. I don't even know, man. I have no idea. Well, I guess we can hope we can tap out and then we can just play two four fours after that. Now we're just going to wait. And now we wait. I find out how hard it is to deal with the blue creatures in the set. Why are they so big? Why are they like a one four, one five, three four, eight eight? Why do they have an eight eight guy? The death touch guy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you can counter this. You can counter this? Oh, I see. Well, if they tap out next turn, Divine Visitation is pretty insane, so. <laughs> oh, all right, we just won this game. I'm pretty sure, because I don't think they can deal with this on board. A blue-black deck is not really known for its enchantment prowess. And here we go. That's fine. I'll make two of those next turn. 
Oh, you got it. No blocks. Oh, biscuits. Well, now we're just playing both of these. One, two, three. Let's not do it like that, though. One, two, three. This guy. If they want to spend two artful takedowns on my sworn companionship, knock yourself out. And they have Vigilance? Oh, I didn't know they had Vigilance. Oh, that's real good. That's better than I thought. I thought they just floated. Yep, you got it. So long, Guildgate. Yikes. Yeah, it's a replacement effect. Oh, I can play a bird and... Can't let me in your pen. We're not even going to attack with this guy. I could have attacked with this guy for like six this turn. Actually, that's probably better. I'm bad at Magic the Gathering, but that's fine. Magic the Gathering is a hard game. Little Hawk Arena. Every turn, make a 4-4. Four, four. Seems good. They don't have lifelink, though, which is kind of sad, I guess. Yeah, this game was a lot quicker. Once you once you get the divine vegetation down, it's like, well, I guess that's pretty good. Artful takedown on ya boy. Never fails. I'll I'll make another angel. That guy just dies every time. That guy's got a big old target on his brain. Because you have disinformation campaign, I'm just like not incentivized to hold any cards in hand. If we attack with everything, if you choose to block here just to kill it, you take 10. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. You can go to two. I imagine you have, no, I thought you would have a bounce spell. Interesting. Because now everything on board is lethal, so you need Two answers slash blockers. All right. Well, that was a game. <laughs> Divine visitation. No joke, apparently. Make all your 1-1 one, one dreams become 4-4 four, four memes uh, or something. I wish this was Night of Autumn. That would be great. I would play that all day. Oh, would you really? Wow. Yeah, goes without saying, I think. Man, I also wish I had a crushing canopy. No crushing canopy, but three packs favors. Why doesn't it also give you Lyra's every time you play a land? That's a valid question. I'm not sure. <clears throat> I wonder if this bug is worth it. Like, I almost feel like playing up, up to Rising and, like, taking out a land for a guild gate. And then we have two sources of black for... Like, this card's good. It's a, it's a removal spell. Makes our bird kill the other bird. I don't know. Bird on bird hate crimes. Whatever. Hard deck seems okay. Maybe. I don't even know. I don't even know. Yikes. I don't hate this hand. If we had one more, one white source. Do I really want to mulligan it though on the draw? I'll risk it for the biscuit. There's going to be a guild gate on the top, so it's probably fine. It's basically the same as a guild gate. 
Never didn't have it. Lucky, 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 lucky. Oof. This is my assumption that I will draw more lands at some point, like right now. Okay. We did it. Remember when this card cost two mana? Those were the days. It was called Heroic Intervention. You didn't untap your guys, but you also gained it, I think. Oh, fashionable late to the party, I see. I doubt you're trading with your Demir spy bot. Spy bug? S -s Spot bug? Spug by? Hmm. Really? They have three cards in hand? This feels like it's worth it. Oh, this is so tr this is so tricky. Like we can play this guy, but then they just untap. They have double artful dodge. I'd rather keep this guy on board. I think it's better for us. And then, like in this situation, I wish I played Guildgate first, or not, or just waited. I guess I don't know. That's that's something. Yeah, I think this card's better on the board. Like they only have two cards after they play something this turn, which I assume they will. Yep, that's fine. Yep, we are definitely playing that first. Good deal. Good deal. Are you getting excited for Venom? Not at all. No way. Yeah, I, I, I am not a big fan of, uh, of how Venom is looking so far. Also, the fact that it is not linked with Spider-Man or the Marvel Universe is pretty cringy to me. Yeah, this is where they go. Kill this guy, tap this guy. Sure. And we don't have the mana for this. Not Convoke? No Convoke on this one? Convoke would be pretty insane there because then you can uh, untap the guys you tapped with it, so that would be great. But... It is not Matthew Ari, no. There is no Spider-Man or Marvel Universe connection with the movie. It is just a standalone Venom movie, which makes zero sense to me. I don't think I have to draw a card here. I can't imagine blocking here in two for one of myself just so they don't draw a random card. If we attack for four here, they just go block. Yeah, I feel like we're just way behind right now. This guy would have been great. Then we could play a thing this turn, 
keep up integrity. I also don't know if the end, end appearance is real. Like they've been, they've been, I've heard rumors about it for a while, but like. It's still, it's still a Venom origin story without Spider-Man. Like it just doesn't make any sense. Like there's no reason for it. I mean, you can just as easily make an Venom story with Spider-Man, which is the entire point of the character. Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. It's a good card. This is just so expensive. Like, we just attack for four? and tap all of our things? I don't think so. Why would it even lead to Venom versus Spider-Man though? The Spider the, the symbiote doesn't hate Spider-Man because it has no connection to Spider-Man, and Eddie Brock doesn't hate Spider-Man because he has no connection to Spider-Man. It makes no sense to have a Venom movie without the Spider-Man portion of it because then you're just making things up. Like what's the point? Like you might as well have a Venom versus Superman movie. Like it just doesn't make any sense. There's no connection to it whatsoever. Like the reason Venom has a spider on his chest is because the symbiote bonded with Spider-Man. The reason it hates Peter Parker is because Peter Parker gave it up and uh, it felt like uh, abandoned. The reason Eddie Brock hates Peter Parker is because uh, Peter Peter Parker presumably, you know, allegedly got Eddie Brock fired from his job. Like there's a there's a connection between the symbiote and, and Eddie Eddie Brock and their connection is their hatred of Peter Parker because he slighted them both. And it just it makes no sense for Spider Man to even be a Venom villain if you're not including the uh the, the Spider Man, the Peter Parker portion. It's just a, a nonsense random story. Like you could just label this movie as any like alien movie. Like you could you might as well take away the name Venom and call it the symbiote. And you just have a, a completely different movie that still is gonna be the same thing, I would imagine. Like it just doesn't make sense. So if we actually, we have to play everything to attack for five here, but then they just attack back for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is pretty bad. Why would Spider-Man go, 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 go wherever he is to stop Venom from eating people and killing people? Like, why would Spider-Man do that though? What's the connect? Can't they just get, what about when they get Captain America to do that? We have five minutes on the clock. They have eight minutes. It's not a super large disparity but it's big enough i think so we'll just attack with this guy tap so we'll just tap one and if they want to block we'll pump that's fine cool if not we'll just play we'll play dissident Yeah, that's fine. They have one card in hand. I'm okay with that. Aggressive. This guy does not have... Let's hope your last card is not a sweet surveil card, I guess. I will bang my head on the desk if it is. Don't have it. I'm begging you. Artful Dodge is also very good. Come on. Oh my god. I'm cringing so hard right now. 
All right, that was your last card, I guess. Never don't have it. <laughs> I mean, I guess we traded this for this. Whatever. That's pretty good, I guess. So let's attack with you and you. Thank you. Okay, who are we floating? TJ, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Two months in a row. Really appreciate it. You are the hero we need, but not the hero we deserve. Yeah, the token went to the hand like it was like it was Hearthstone or something. Hey, we don't do that. All right, so they have no cards in hand. Top deck mode for sure. We have, they have. Four power and flyers, though. That's pretty good. Yeah, this card's just way too expensive, unfortunately. Yep. Draw two. Go to two cards in hand. Come in, come in, come in, right? Pretty sure I'm going to try to get this off the board, but I assume you just have another surveil card, so it's a two for one again. You can't have Artful Takedown. You could have a Counterspell. So I think we're going to pump pre-combat. Yeah, because if you want to counter this, I'm not going to... I'm just going to not block. Yep. Uh, let's go you and you. Yes. Five you. If they have a counter spell, it's pretty bad for us. If they don't, though, we might get a blowout. Probably not a blowout. You have two cards. Let's see if one of them oh, resolves. All right. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> of course. Oh, boy. Might of the Masses. Affectionate Indrik. That's actually not bad. We can kill the 3-4 Flyer, which is kind of nice. We can't kill a Trotta, so we're definitely taking 3. So we can block 2 of your creatures, so we need to keep at least 3 guys back. Yes, tap you. Okay. Yeah, we can actually take three and one, so we only have to block two guys. I guess if they can kill one of these, we can block here. We take three, five. Yeah, we're dead if they have a removal spell, so that's kind of sad, but they only have one card in hand. I think I did my math wrong, but I'm trying to rush because we have three minutes on the clock to their five. They also go to four here if they don't block. They might just block, which would be nice. They don't, so I think we're dead. Artful dodge. Tap one. Kill the 4-4. Four four. Kill us. And, yeah. Unmute. Mm -hmm. 
Never don't draw both of them in every game. Seems good. Uh, is this what... Is this what it feels like? Do I need some fries for the salt? Maybe. Maybe. One, two, one, two. Yeah, Celestia is not the guild you want to pick. Yeah, the good thing about subs is that, like, if you're subbed, I have a feeling that you're not being shitty and you're just kind of being making a joke. So I usually take it as such. Whereas if you're not subbed, I'm just like, I can't tell if you're being a dick or not. So it's nicer to have, like, that's one of the, that's also one of the perks of being a sub because I, I just assume you're, you're a fan, obviously, or, like, uh, you want to support. So, you know, it seems silly to, to take that as hostility. I mean, two cards in your hand, the odds of you having your second Artful Takedown has got to be close to 100%, I imagine. This is my only stuff to people I hate. That's a good, that's a good strategy, actually. I like that one. Yep, that card is good. Do I two for one just to kill it? <laughs> it's a surveil phone right? so they'll have exactly what they need. I, I likely won't. Yeah, this has been an experiment and not a good one. You just have no way to get damage through without spending immense amounts of mana. Like, this guy's a 2-1 flyer, but I have to spend 2 mana every turn. Otherwise, it just gets blocked by infinite 1-3s. And in, in even red, even red has a 1-3 for 2. So it just gets blocked by the, the red 1-3, the black 1-3, one, one, or the blue 1-3. All of them. Um, and, like, so you're amassing all these 2-2s two and 1-1s one, on your board, but all their guys are just 1-5s, and it's just, like... That you, your removal is also not great. <laughs> Always being, I hate that you prejudicially assume, assuming, I hate that you're prejudicially assuming I'm just joking and a good guy. Monsonster, I swear to you, I don't think you're a good guy. I think you are an actual monster. An actual Monsonster. You got it. You also can prey upon, but it's like you don't really want to even like. What do you even prey upon? One, two, three. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine. Next turn we can play this guy. If we do play this guy this turn, and boy, that's not great for us. So I guess I could float over for two, play sworn companions, take a bunch. Yeah, that seems fine. They have not surveilled anything into their graveyard yet, which means, like, they basically got nothing from it. They're just going to draw the cards that they were going to draw anyway. 
Oh, is it is it illusions donate GG? But we can play Arbori uh, Arboridum Arboridum Elemental. Celeste, I'm pretty Arboridum with Celestia, if you ask me. <sighs> Come on. Let's let's do the thing. I'm pretty sure we just block here, right? I mean, we don't get to play this guy next turn. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8. Seems like a weird attack. They also have four mana up though, so I don't even know if I want to throw this guy out into like a... <laughs> I do hardly know him. Look at this weird tree creature with a suit of armor on. Sure. So just to be clear, eight mana. This guy costs nine again, like we like you do. I don't know what to do. Beetle on this guy, maybe? Just attack and then we can prey upon? Take heart? doesn't seem terrible actually it gets us some decent damage we're not gonna gain any life though i guess we would if we yeah so we'd gain one if we attacked first but we gained that one anyway with the soldier token so i guess we could just do that i'm not even whatever i want them to have fewer things on board because we do have the elemental Thank you. this is like the weirdest siren noise ever Obs, thanks so much for the for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Um, so we take heart. If you cast the beetle, I wouldn't put the token on one of the opponent's guys. Uh, put the counter. Yeah, that's a solid strategy. I can I can get behind that. Just watched a 10 minute video to learn how to do that. Man, thank you so much. Really appreciate that kind of commitment. Also, they're at nine. So, or they're, they, go to, they, go, they go to eight here. That's pretty good. Especially with seven, five, hex proofy. I was able to take it to a few minutes and get some time with my baby horse. Is it your baby horse, Matthew? If we draw one of our hawks, it's pretty good because then we can just play it and the and the elemental. We're gonna go one two, and then we're gonna throw a pack into this bad boy, and then we're gonna try again. Okay, you surveilled that thing into the trash can. Not what I was expecting, but all right. I'll take four. They upkeep Artful Takedown. Okay, yeah, but like... I mean, we can't win that turn, right? We can still win, like... I mean, like, I don't think we, we can't win. Last time I was able to catch you live, you recommended the bleachers gone now. Uh, good morning has all yeah that that song that um don't take the money is probably my favorite song on that album but yeah bleachers is great 
I agree with you. Here comes Artful Takedown. Our least favorite card. Don't take the money. Alright, let's do it. Let's see the counter. They had five cards and they haven't played anything, right? So it's like, it's gotta be just Counterspell. Waiting. There's three counter spells that can hit this. Three mana one, the four mana one, and the two mana one. They didn't have any of them? Alright, I'm just gonna get in there for this guy, because now this guy has Hexproof, so I feel safe. This guy probably dies, though. Yeah, this guy's not long, not long for this world. Okay, that's fine. Well, this guy's a powerful, uh, powerful wizard. You gotta keep it arbor ar 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 boredom. Is that is that a is that an is that an offspring reference you just made there? No, that would be you gotta keep um, not it, right? I, you gotta keep it our boredom? What does that mean? What do you what's your what's your play on words there that you're using? I can't I'm not picking up on it here. I agree. For, for four mana at, as in, at instant speed to destroy any creature whatsoever, this card's great. And um, the fact that it like like also surveils too is pretty nuts. Oh, they're keeping this guy alive. Okay. Well, I don't have any Arboretum. You got to keep it Arboretum. I don't understand what's going on right now. All right, all guys get neg one, neg one. That's all of my board, I guess. Yeah, that's a spell I wanted to see. Do you just take just take seven here and go to one? I didn't think so. That seems a little aggressive. All of my board still has 7-5. Hey, man. Listen. Listen. Hey, come out and play. Now I have... Uh, now I have the out the out offspring stuck in my head. You know what I would have loved if there was one Demir card that steals a keyword for each of the other guilds, four cards for the sets. And I don't think Demir really needs any any more technologies, right? So one, two, three, and then we have five to make a guy to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're gonna do that. It's better than just making this a three three that can't make a guy as well. I hope you don't surveil. Because you have to bounce this guy, right? You have to play the, the two mana bounce spell, bounce that guy. And then you trade here, so you have nothing on board. Thank you. MTG Calvert, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Four months in a row. Is, so you did actually have that. I see. Lucky, 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 lucky. This is really an event of they always have it, isn't it? Two Exodus, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Good times, good times. Uh, if we use the forum, we can't also make a guy. Uh, I'd rather make a guy than than put a one one counter on this. Yeah.
Yeah, every Demir card has Surveil. It's pretty ridiculous. See, now we can use this, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we can definitely use this now. I will add a green and a white. Make a three, three. This is a Surveil format. <laughs> you are not wrong. We're also going to attack with this guy and tap everything. Uh, make a one, two, make all the make all the dudes. Like we're not gonna block this guy, so might as well tap everything. They don't have hasty creatures, right? One, two, three. And we got there. Seems good. Seems good. Not sure we're boarding anything in. I think we actually... I thought we changed this permanently. I thought we put the Might of the Masses back in for the... Interesting. And I thought we also took the... I thought we took this out too. Did we not? Did we not save this? We totally did. We totally saved this last time. And then I was sitting here waiting because I thought the game was going to go uh, by itself. Right? Did we not? Am I just... Also, I wish this didn't cost four to activate. Like, that's a lot. Maybe we just play the locket instead. Two cards is two cards, especially in the late game. Some of the hand where any white is just great. I'm going to keep this. We're on the draw. Have we faced like three Demir decks? No, the first one was Boros, right? Was it? No. I don't know what our first round was. Was it Boros? Can I get a white source? The answer is no. Yeah, it was like the super aggressive Boros deck and we had all X ones, so they would all die to the ornery goblins, unfortunately. Okay. Seems good. Off to a good start. Off to a good start. I would not actually say I'm off to the races. So... 
That is a phrase I might even actively avoid. I guess I'll make a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, yeah, the seal stuff's going up on YouTube. Most videos go up on YouTube. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good one. This is Gilded Sealed, yes. Which I might even like less. Hey, I found some uh, I found some planes, guys. So we're not dead yet. Eight mana, four, seven. Can't do that. We could play you and a guild mage, which is not too bad. Four, we have six mana. This puts us down to five. We can actually play three things if we wanted to. No, we would need three white for that. We only have two white. This automatically disqualifies us from playing three of anything. Hmm. Sukai Starburst, glad you could catch live. Um, I kind of want to just play this in Guild Mage. Two three seems relevant to block their flyer though. We have six cards in hand. I have to assume they have some amount of removal. Can't really attack here. Yep, seems good. <sighs> Pretty sure we're just dead this game. Like, I guess we could jump block, but, like, what's our even... What's How do we recover when they have six cards in hand? And they're se selectively choosing what they draw with the uh, Night Veil sprite. And they're drawing, yeah, like, this is, we're just going to go to the next game. We're at three. Like, this is not... Not good times. All right, let's just try again, I guess.
So is it like it just you have to take the mirror, right? The mirror is just like the uh, the default. Like you just have to choose the mirror for your for your draft or for your for your sealed pool, and there or else you just you're just in bad shape. I mean, if we had one Crushing Canopy as opposed to three Portcullis Vines and three Pax Favor, that'd be nice. I don't know if Crushing Canopy is uncommon in this set. Nope, it is common. And uh, we just got significantly different. Three Healer's Hawks as well. So we got nine of the same, one, two Maniacal Rages, two Maximized Velocities, two Spinal Centipedes, two this one, two of this one. Two of this one, two of this one. Like, there's so many doubles of things, and you like we just two Demir Guild Gates, three Celestia Guild Gates, and we can't get one Crushing Canopy. Can they fix like the print runs or something so that you're not getting three of some cards, three of multiple cards, and then zero of other cards? Like that seems like a reasonable suggestion, right? This hand is where you want to be. How they get, how do they beat turn one healer's hawk? It's basically gonna kill them. They'll basically be dead. This is it. It's all downhill from here, guys. I actually have to play this here, unfortunately. This guy's, uh, yeah, we're just going to attack with this. And if you want to block, it's totally fine. Is Healer's Hawk better than Vampire Nighthack? Sources say no. Those sources could be wrong. Is it crazy to not buy a brand anymore because they sleep? No, not really. I mean... By that I mean I probably still would buy that brand. Um, I see where you're coming from. I think I think the the damage that plastic straws specifically do has been exaggerated, but I still try to use them uh, as little as 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 possible. so many hawks dude this is great so we can go hawk float yeah this is nice then we can play this guy and next time we can tap everything down i've never been so happy to have this many one one hawks it's 
We could also keep up Might of Masses, but I kind of want to be able to play this next turn. This is a pretty sick combo, to be to be quite honest. Um, I'm going to ignore it and try to just go wide here. Yes, no, wait, what? So, like, you don't see the problem how straws are wrong when every day my food comes wrapped in plastic. But, like, the, the plastic your food is wrapped in is not making its way to the oceans, right? Like, that's the problem, right? Like, the, the, the straws being plastic is, I mean... There are actually paper straws. I, I've, I've noticed a couple restaurants moving to paper straws, which is pretty sweet. Everybody coming in. Being able to block this guy with like a healer is pretty good. Oh, they didn't. That's interesting to me. Did I just block here to get this guy out of the way? I don't think I care. Did they miss a land drop here? I don't know what's going on. I only use Rigatonia straws. That's solid. All right. Oh, I think we just wait now. Dang. All right. Disdainful stroke incoming. No disdainful stroke. Yep, that's going to be a no for me. All right, let's see if you have it. <sighs> they always have it. I don't know what you could have for two mana, though. Two mana is not a lot in this format. Ooh, Baneslayer Angel incoming. That's nice. <clears throat> All right. Have at it. Getting the Nightfield spread off the board is pretty good. <laughs> I was about to type this Stainful Store game and then Frank said it on stream. Did I become Frank? Oh, boy. Yep, that guy's fine. We're going to tap down all your things. Well, all the relevant things, anyway. Which would be this guy and this guy, I guess. And then we can attack with every... I don't know. If you attack with one guy, that's really what we want. Because then we get to go... One, two, three, four, five, six. Put you to six. Draw a card. Well, dang it. Biscuits. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we're definitely playing this. Drawing a card. It's going to be a guild gate. No, it's a two drop. Doesn't really matter. I guess we'll tap these guys down. I mean, we're only attacking with the birds. I don't think we're going to waste the Skyline Scout that has flight. Like, I don't want to trade here. It just seems bad. Yep, that's fine. 
This guy's going to surveil. I'll probably just block with 3-3 three, three here. I don't want you to draw another card. And then we can kill the floaty boy. When you aren't talking, can you please rest your throat up against the mic so we can get some sweet, sweet ASMR action? That's interesting. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to do that. Oh, crying out loud. Uh, I kind of just like playing this, trying to hit a land, and then floating over the top. That is a land. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have two left over. So we could actually go one, two, three. Actually, we're attacking with all these guys, right? So, yeah, that's fine. We're not going to play the worm here. Oh, we can't get through this guy, though. Uh, I guess we'll just play the worm, then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, another little bird. That's all three of the birds. Can you rest your throat against the mic? That's so weird. Stop being weird, no beats. No birds. Cool. Three for two. I guess that's fine. Go on, take the money and run. Ooh, ooh. Well, I guess if you have it here, you have it. Stroke me, bro. Oh, that's a weird thing to say. Kill floaty boy. Gonna bounce it. Yep, more surveil. Okay, it's like they tacked on scry to every single card. It's very powerful. Scry two, scry one, scry two, scry one. Like it's very weird to see it this many times on cards. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, if they want to spend five mana next turn to play the three four, I think that's pretty good. We can also play this for three. We can also shoot their face and probably if we alpha the last turn, we could have probably just untapped and killed them. That would be my theory. If you called for a medic and a hawk showed up, I actually wouldn't be that mad if the hawk did its job, right? Like, if the hawk came in and it was like, hey, man, I got you. And I was like, wow, hawk, that's some really solid healing you're doing. I'd probably be okay with it. Yeah, I'm just going to alpha here. Yeah, because I don't know if I want a lightning bolt or pump. And I can just lightning bolt their face and put them to two, so they they're they're dead on very several metrics here. We're probably gonna get ten play points here. It's probably gonna be like ten to fifteen. And I think they just conceded automatically. I have no idea. Twenty play points. Interesting. So one win is twenty, two win is thirty. Was there something else that popped up here? Oh, you have complete improve your deck for the next stage. Oh, I just get to oh, I just get to buy a booster pack. Do I even like this deck enough to continue? God, I spent 240 play points on it. Doesn't feel great. Hmm. Restart and buy a mirror. Yeah, we'll do that. I don't think we're, I'm gonna say not now. And I'm gonna end this, and we're gonna do some more after this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on YouTube, uh, on Twitch, and Patreon. Links are in the description below. And I'll see you next time.